What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Surfshark, which is one of the VPN giants in today's industry that actually offers premium features while charging you much less than most other VPNs with the same features. But is it really able to keep up in terms of performance and security? Well, the frequent updating of Surfshark made it a real contender, even for the top performers out there like Express and Nord. So today I'm bringing you an updated review of Surfshark where I'll look into the service to make sure it's still up to the standards that make a VPN a premium VPN. So I'll look into the good, the bad, and everything else to help you decide whether or not Surfshark is a service suitable for your needs. And if at any point you want to go straight to the pricing or discounts, you'll find the latest discounts down below. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at Surfshark's privacy policy. They do state that they collect information that is basically non-identifiable, which is standard practice, things like diagnostics information and aggregated performance data and just other relevant information that they use to improve the service. They've also never been breached and no user information has ever been leaked. So they do have a clean track record as far as keeping your information private. Now, Surfshark had one independent audit back in 2018. Audit Cure 53 tested Surfshark's browser extensions and another audit by the same firm conducted on May 22nd of 2021 when Surfshark ran a server infrastructure audit and the most recent audit was conducted by Deloitte on January 25th, which verified the no log statement of Surfshark, providing further evidence that Surfshark does not log any user data. All three audits resulted in great standing without any major flaws, and it was concluded that the tested applications and servers made for a good impression. Besides that, the vulnerabilities that were found were rated with low severity and were appropriately dealt with by the Surfshark team. Also, since July 2020, Surfshark has been operating on a completely diskless RAM-only network, which is a big improvement for security and privacy. What that means is that the data is erased with every machine reboot and there's no physical drive in which data is stored in. And despite Surfshark being based in the Netherlands, which is within the 5.9 and 14 eyes jurisdiction, I don't necessarily see this as a cause for concern since Surfshark has no history of sharing user information with governments. And either way, when it comes to serious criminal offenses, no VPN is above the law, no matter the jurisdiction. So overall, it's safe to say that Surfshark is doing very well in the privacy policy department. Now, speed-wise, this is where Surfshark is actually doing quite a bit well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the speed tests will vary depending on your connection speed, internet service provider, and the servers you're connecting to, and the distance between you and the server you're connecting to. So generally speaking, any decrease in speed between 10 and 20% is considered excellent, and anything between 20 to 40% is still good considering your base speed is already very fast. Now, during my tests, specifically using the WireGuard protocol, which is the best performing one, I noticed that the speed drops were not dropping below the 15 to 30 percent threshold for international servers and between 10 and 25 percent with nearby servers, which is admittedly not as fast as some of the other premium VPNs like Nord and Express. But considering the asking price of Surfshark, I think we can excuse it for occasionally being a little slower than the best performing VPNs. But don't misunderstand, Surfshark is still one of the fastest VPNs in the business, so it's definitely no slouch, meaning that you won't experience any buffering when streaming in full HD or 4K, assuming your speed is fast enough to handle high quality streaming in the first place. Now, speaking of streaming, Surfshark works very well in that regard. Surfshark can reliably stream various Netflix libraries, Amazon Prime Video libraries, BBC iPlayer, uh, Hulu, HBO Max, Disney Plus, and many others. However, rarely so, you might find yourself having to switch servers here and there if it doesn't work on your first try. So keep that in mind if you ever see your streaming client giving you an error. Just try another server and you're good to go. As for torrenting, most of Surfshark servers fully support peer-to-peer -peer activity without limitations. And another feature that you can utilize when torrenting is bypasser, which is pretty much split tunneling. And this feature will allow you to single out whichever application is selected, in which only chosen applications will be driven through the VPN tunnel, while your other internet traffic is channeled through your standard connection or the other way around if you so desire. Gaming wise, you can achieve very low ping as long as you connect to the VPN server that's closest to your gaming server. So just keep that in mind when you're gaming with a VPN. Now in terms of security, Surfshark uses the 
standard top grade encryption with a handful of protocols, including WireGuard. Surfshark also supports perfect forward secrecy, which if you're not familiar with, it refers to an encryption system that changes the keys used to encrypt and decrypt information frequently and automatically. In simple terms, this means that even if somebody was able to intercept and decrypt your internet connection, the most they would be able to get is 60 minutes of data. Besides that, Surfshark also supports DNS and WebRTC leak blocking. So, of course, there were no leaks on the extended test that I made on the DNS leak test. In addition to a VPN kill switch, which severs your internet connection should the VPN connection get disconnected unexpectedly, and bypasser or split tunneling, which I mentioned earlier on how it allows users to select which applications go through the VPN tunnel uh, and which don't. This feature is not available for Apple users though so keep that in mind if you want Surfshark uh, for your Mac or iPhone uh, but I have a feeling that a lot of you guys won't really be using split tunneling anyways and more features include no borders mode which will help you bypass firewalls in censorship heavy countries and finally we've got rotating IP which automatically rotates your IP address every five to ten minutes while your VPN location stays the same which can help cover up your tracks especially in restrictive countries but just keep in mind that if you intend to use Surfshark in China, there may be some manual configuration needed, which you can find a guide for on the Surfshark website. Finally, a couple of specialty server options include static IP, which will give you access to static IP servers rather than the regular dynamic IP servers. And to add to that, recently Surfshark added the ability to create your own custom double VPN connection between two servers, which is called dynamic multi-hop. And with this, you'll be able to pair servers that work best for you depending on your location. Not to mention the Surfshark now has dedicated IP support, so you can get your own dedicated IP address, which no one else can use, which can help Help with accessing services that are sensitive to IP changes like bank applications or to simply avoid any annoying capture requests. Uh, and this is possible thanks to something called Surfshark Nexus, which is an innovative networking system that connects Surfshark's VPN servers to a single global network, which overall improves the user experience, making the connection safer and stronger. And it opens up more opportunities for Surfshark to create more cutting edge innovations like dynamic multi hop and rotating IP. So, I really can't wait to see what else they have uh, next. And all of these are free updates, by the way. Besides that, you also get a bonus ad blocking feature that doesn't really manage to do as well as independent ad blocking software, but it will still block pop ups here and there. And there are more features to come, according to the Surfshark team. And I'll be sure to update you on everything when the time comes with an update review. So make sure you subscribe. And uh, one of the main selling points, by the way, of Surfshark is giving users the ability to secure an unlimited number of simultaneous connections per subscription. So this is a great option for big households or if you don't want to purchase a special router to secure your entire network. Now, in terms of server variety, Surfshark does enjoy a fairly large network of over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. Previously, the country count was at 65 countries, but recently they added 35 more countries, which is a massive bump in server diversity. Compatibility wise, Surfshark works natively on many devices, including smart TVs, iOS, Android, Linux, Mac, Windows, streaming devices, and more, as well as Google Chrome and Firefox extensions uh, being available, which is great. Now, the main reason why I might be personally deterred from using Surfshark is if I'm looking to achieve speeds that are even faster than that of Surfsharks, or if I'm looking for a VPN with the split tunneling feature on Apple devices. And this is admittedly a little bit of a nitpick because Surfshark really is a huge bang for the buck. I personally think Surfshark is a great service for the average user overall, especially considering they're one of the few VPNs that provide most of the premium features at an affordable price and for unlimited devices. And if you're interested in Surfshark becoming even more affordable, be sure to check the link in the description down below that'll give you an extra extra discount so you can save a little bit more money if you happen to pick up Surfshark. And as you'd expect from a premium VPN, they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee just in case you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. So all in all, if I'm going to be completely honest, Surfshark leaves little to be desired. It's a great VPN, especially when considering the pricing. It's super easy to use. There's no throttling no matter what you download, and it's also completely safe for torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer activities. It works phenomenally with streaming services. It's fast and comes packed with a bunch of bonus features, and all of that can be shared with nearly all your friends and family members with just one single subscription. So it's great. You genuinely cannot go wrong with the service unless 
unless you're outright looking for a feature that it doesn't offer. So if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any features, security or performance, then Surfshark is exactly the way to go. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of these reviews, feel free to support me by liking the video and subscribing. It really makes my day when I see that all the testing and research and fact checking is paying dividends. And definitely comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.